Hello and welcome to this video about walking in Florence. And we start at Cappella Medici and Basilica di San Lorenzo. A part of Cappella Medici was designed by Michelangelo. Basilica di San Lorenzo is a 15th century church, which was extended with this cappella to celebrate Medici family. It's pretty cold these days, though it is end of November, I expected a little bit warmer weather. It is very windy and about plus four, sometimes raining. And even in these weather conditions there are a lot of tourists. Still it's not too much, so it's not disturbing. The streets of Old City are very narrow. As in all South and Europe, bikes and scooters are very popular so you can see a lot of them on the streets and parkings. The main train station is huge and there are a lot of people moving around here. Trams are pretty convenient and modern. Here you can see Basilica of Santa Maria Novella. It is the first great basilica in Florence and it is city principal Dominican church. The building process began in 13th century and lasted about 80 years. There are a lot of big and small markets, mostly selling leather products and souvenirs. Obelisk of the Fallen in the Wars of Independence in the Piazza dell'Unità Italiana. 15 meter obelisk was erected on May 29, 1882 for those who fallen in the battles of independence from 1821 to 1870. With further wars, more plaques were added. I may look a little bit tired as this is the next day after I have run the Florence Marathon. It is pretty tricky to get into the center of Florence as it is closed for non-residents. So if you are going to use one of the paid parkings in the center, you need to inform them about your license plate. Otherwise, you can easily get a fine. The parking prices in the central district are also very high. It can easily be about 50-70 euro per night. So the easiest solution is to park outside of the city center and use tram to get to the center. In that case, parking would cost you about 7 euro per night. It is time before the Christmas, so there are a lot of Christmas decorations. For instance, here on the square in front of church of Saint Michel and Gaetano. Though it is cold, there are still some green plants. In general, there are not much parks and real trees around, so these small decorations in the city center make city look much nicer and alive, as for me.
Old city streets are full of small shops and galleries. And of course there are museums literally on every corner. Seems like some sculptures and some roads were made from stone, which doesn't handle rain very good. So there is almost nothing left from these lines. The Ponte alla Caraya is a five arc bridge spanning the river Arno. The bridge was destroyed and rebuilt several times. Mostly it was destroyed by flood, but once it was destroyed by a crowd of people gathered to watch a spectacle. Last time it was blown up by German army during Second World War and restored in 1948. As parking is problematic in the center, bicycles are also a very popular alternative. Some streets are so authentic that you could film a medieval movie right away. Santa Maria del Carmine is a church of the Carmelite order. The construction started in 13th century and several times it uh, was enlarged and rebuilt. San Frediano in Castello is a Baroque-style Roman Catholic church. Last time it was entirely rebuilt in 18th century as it was destroyed by fire. The church is dedicated to an early Christian Irish pilgrim who became a bishop of Luca. By legend, he miraculously crossed the Arno River near the spot. The church was rebuilt in 17th century and same as many old buildings here, it was destroyed by flood and fire several times.
the Porta San Frediano was the westernmost gate in the 13th century walls of the Oltrano section of Florence. And the road from this gate is going to Pisa. The gate and fort are called after the church nearby. The gate was finished in 1332. And it still has a huge metal and wood made doors. There is a small park along the piece of the wall. Unfortunately, the entrance to the fourth wall is closed now. Here you can see Basilica di Santo Spirito. The construction started in the 13th century and took a long time, as for most of such big projects. In the inner square there are a lot of tombs, some plates are in Greek, I suppose they belong to some Byzantine refugees who came here after the fall of Constantinople in the 15th century. A lot of doors are very authentic, also entrances are still decorated with uh, such a device. I guess it was used to handle a torch or some kind of lamp. And as it's Christmas, some shops make a nice panorama. This one is amazing with so many small details and moving parts. There are more Florence works ahead. 
Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.